I wanted to film this video just to give you a bit more clarity on the long-term goal with picking your niche and offer. This is gonna be our niche. Then we are also gonna create our initial offer. This is what we just used to get into the market. And the reason why we are keeping the niche super broad is this is the whole niche. Let's say this is the whole IT industry. In this whole IT industry, there's millions of different companies. There's so much different stuff happening in it. There's IT consulting companies. There's cybersecurity companies. There's there are fucking data entry companies, there's custom software app development, there's just a bunch of stuff happening. It's impossible for us to know what are the actually best companies for us to work with before we have done it. Of course, we can have theses and we can make guesses, but at the end of the day, each one of us works really differently. We have different goals, we have different preferences, so it's really impossible for us to know what is gonna be the exactly best niche for you. So that is why we started targeting this whole niche, like really broadly. We pick a really broad target. What we are going to do is, of course, the messaging won't be as targeted for the exact person that we're reaching out to, and the offer won't be exactly as targeted as we could make it. So it's going to be a volume game. At this point, when we are targeting the whole niche, we just need to go hard on volume, test a lot of different angles, test a lot of different copy variations, test different offers, and just do a bunch of volume to the niche. And then when we are doing this, we're going to generate some data on cold email side. We're going to generate some data on calls. We're going to hop on discovery and demo calls, and we're going to also close some clients. We close a cybersecurity company and we close a IT management call something company and we hope on a call with the data entry company and we hope on a call with the cybersecurity company and we had one campaign targeting Texas based app development companies for example. And these give us data points. So we start understanding the niche way better. Because what a lot of people do, which is in my opinion a huge mistake, is they look at this whole niche and then they have heard from the dark corners of internet that they should go really specific with their niche, even though they have zero experience and understanding of the market in lead generation or business to business. So what they do is they just pick one really specific corner of the niche. They just start targeting this one really specific ICP. Then they go really heavy on that ICP for three months, six months, nine months. And maybe after those nine months, they realize like, fuck, these people are actually struggling. These people are really hard to get results for. These people are not good clients to work with. I don't want to work with these companies because you have targeted all your focus and energy into this one small part of the market. You you haven't gathered data about anything else in the market. So of course you have been able to create way more specific cold email campaigns for them, but it has no benefit if the niche doesn't work out. So that is why we go really broadly into that market. So we start understanding the whole market better. And then we start seeing really quickly that, okay, every time we're going to talk with this type of a company, they don't seem to be struggling or they don't have the budget when they have this headcount or whatever, we can start excluding things here from the niche. So, okay, we don't want to talk with these guys. We don't want to talk with these guys. These guys are not good good clients. I work with one of these clients. This is not good. And you start excluding things. Because of this, you start getting a way better view of things actually happening in the market and what are good companies to work with. And then the more you do it, the more you iterate based on the knowledge and data you have actually gathered up, the more specific your niche is going to be. And this way, when you niche down, it's actually going to be the companies that are left in your small specific niche. They're actually going to be the companies that you want to work with and you can work with. So in the beginning, you'll have your version one offer and niche and you are doing a huge volume game. You have this big market here. This is the whole industry of, let's say, IT industry. So you're just shooting a bunch of volume to this industry. And of course, you're going to generate some calls, you're going to generate some clients. So let's say that you sign five clients after three months of doing outreach to that market with a lot of volume. One thing that a lot of people fuck up with is they are like, oh, I got some success. I got five clients. I just keep using this offer. It's a proven validated offer. And this is a fucking really good niche. Yeah, you closed five clients in three months. That's dope. But you could do so much better. So if you just stick with this version one offer and niche, you're going to miss out on a lot that you could have done. So what we do is we get these five clients and you start running them campaigns. And let's say from these five different clients, you generate great results for three. And out of these three companies, you get one really really fucking sick case study. You got really good results. Let's say it was a cybersecurity company that you got the really fantastic results for. They were making 30K every single month. And then you worked with them for eight months. So eight months is the time period. And they got to stage two. And you made them extra 500K in eight months. And let's say the last month that you worked together with them, they made 
100,000. So you took them from stage one in pain, a lot of problems, no fucking clue what they were doing. And you took them from that situation where they were making 30K. In eight months, they are making 100K. They know how to position their offer. They have a really clear picture on who they should sell to, what are their best angles, etc. You just fucking took them from a really bad state to a fucking dreamland. So what you do at this point is you make a case study. This is your fantastic case study. Your case study is basically all based on the transformation that you made for them. It's going from stage one to stage two. Here are the action steps that we took to get there. This is what the client says. This is what the results they got, etc. So you have this really fucking good case study. It's already proven. It has happened. It's validated. You know that it, you are able to do it. So what you do at this point is you look at this client that you worked with, this cybersecurity company, and you build an actual ICP. ICP is an actual really deep profile of the person who you sold the offer to. You build a really, really specific profile about this person. What is their title? How many years they have experience? What are their dreams? What are their goals? What are their fears? Why is this happening? What have they failed at? Why are they in pain because of this? What have they tried? You just figure out all of these things. And basically how we get this data is just fucking talk to the customer that you took from stage one to stage two. And you build a fucking specific profile. And then you use this, an amazing case study and the ICP, the profile that you built out. And you use that to target the profile that you just created. Target the exact same type of founders who are in the same same situation. They have the same business metrics. They're making 20 to 40 K a month. They are struggling with positioning their offer in the market. You understand the language they speak. You understand why those things are painful. You understand what they fear. You have that profile already. It is proven. You have seen it with your own eyes in the market and target them with the case study. Yo, John, let's say John was the person that you were targeting. I just helped an exactly same type of founder that you are to go from this really painful stage one from making 30K a month with their IT company. And I got them to 100K a month in eight months using my unique mechanism. And then you are basically not just selling a really generic offer to a really generic niche. You're selling a really valuable transformation from a painful situation to fucking dreamland. So you're selling a transformation to a really specific ICP that you have already helped and you know that they exist. And what's gonna happen here is you're gonna make a lot of money. And of course, this is gonna have a lot of points. You have to change a lot of your code emails. You need to create new lists. You need to film a new VSL. But this way you basically go from selling a really generic broad offer to a big industry, to selling a really specific valuable transformation to a specific type of person. If you are able to take an IT company from 30K a month to 100K a month, that is worth way more than 3K starting fee. That is worth like 20K plus plus 10% revenue or what it might be. You're able to make way more money, work with way less clients. And the biggest thing is that you are not commodized. You can't be compared to anyone because you have become so good at growing a cybersecurity company. You have seen it happen in your eyes and you can't come up with this. You can't basically just sit down with no experience and be like, okay, this is going to be my specific transformation. You haven't done it. You don't know how to make it happen. And then you can't also like create a really specific ICP. I'm going to help these founders who are struggling with this and this and who want this like you don't fucking know if they want to do that you have never seen that in front of your eyes you haven't talked to anyone who wants to do that you haven't helped anyone who wants to do that so if you try to guess these two things you're gonna just end up wasting a lot of time but in order for you to do it you need to start off with a generic broad audience and with a broad generic offer and then just ram a lot of volume take a lot of calls take five clients take 10 clients get results for seven out of ten get really amazing results for three out of ten and get a fucking fantastic case study from one out of ten and then it's just leverage that case study, crank the volume up, create a new VSL, create a new sales page, and just build an actual expert business where you sell a transformation instead of a really generic offer. And that's how we scale.